All right, what is up, everybody? It's me, J Rod, the filmmaker, former film major, and frequent fighting gamer from Philadelphia. And this week, um, I we've got a special reaction video, I think, but it comes with a bit of a story. Um, earlier today, I was just chilling. Um, I was taking care of some personal business. Let's just say that, and I was scrolling on my phone. And I just so happened to see um, a leak. Now, I don't like to report on leaks usually because I don't, you know, people don't want things spoiled for them all the time. Me personally, I don't like stuff getting leaked, but I do understand that I, I hang out on some sites that have leaks on them. So sometimes it happens. Now, this specific game, I didn't know anything about, so I'm not too worried about it getting leaked. And I didn't actually see any gameplay of this, but... It was announced that there was a Marvel game coming that was inspired by Overwatch, and they showed off some of the characters that are supposed to be in this game. And they also said that there's an official announcement coming for this game tomorrow at around a, a noon Eastern time, I think was what they said. And at the time I was watching this, um, it was posted yesterday, so they meant today <laughs> about 20 minutes after i found out that this game even existed if it was true there would be an official reveal of this marvel game y'all probably hear my uh my controller on it we'll get to that later and a, a reveal of this marvel game did come i believe we do have an official reveal of this marvel game that apparently is inspired by overwatch i have no idea what it looks like how it plays but um i were about to check out the official announcement they probably won't put any gameplay in this either because it's just the first trailer the announcement trailer so it'll probably just be trying to get us on board with the concept but i'm kind of already on board with the concept a marvel based hero shooter and i use the term shooter kind of loosely because some of these characters don't use guns so i'm wondering how they'll play but also in overwatch some characters don't use guns there's like uh, ninjas and archers and robots with orbs there's a lot of different ways to play even though it's a shooting game you don't have to be specifically a shooter so i'm excited to see um how they execute what this game is going to look like how, how much is it going to cost if it's free to play then i'm even more interested i'll be completely honest oh god i'm getting absolutely bodied here hold on oh and the reason why i forgot about this announcement and also why i'm playing the xbox right now while shooting this video is because janet gage is out in uh, Mortal Kombat 1. So I am... God, I hope this hits. He teleported? No! I'm playing a Invasions Mode Tower with Garrus and Janet. I think that my team is going to be Kenshi and Janet, but I'm, doing, I'm using Garrus because it's Invasions and he has a pretty good stack. And I'm also pretty high on this tower. Like, it's like level 60 something. So using a character that doesn't have crazy stats is risky. You know this armor and all this health they have? Like, I'm just, uh, I'm just killing them. I don't have any of my, <laughs> uh, right, relic down there, so. Oh yeah, but let me show you something with Janet. I have all these Janet moves. Right, I can do this. Okay. That does combo, but it is like a reset. I gotta know combo. Did I say the name of the game? Maybe not. All right, let's switch over to the reaction camera. All right, so the game is called Marvel Rivals. This is the official announcement. I I guess that whatever that leaker guy was saying was true because it did come at the time he said. And so I guess it's an Overwatch based Marvel game hero shooter. Now, I've never I played Overwatch one time, only one time. I never came back to it because I'm not a super sweaty shooting game player. I like casual shooting games. And another hero shooter that I, I keep thinking about is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League because that just came out. Season one of that game just came out. They literally just broke compatibility on the Steam Deck, so I'm waiting for them to fix it again. But I already played through the whole story, and I'm uploading my uh, playthrough of Suicide Squad for members only. So if you are a channel member, you can check out my entire playthrough. It should be uploaded by the end of this week. I already got two episodes up. Um, and if you're not a channel, channel member, you can become a channel member down below by the subscribe button. First, make sure you're subscribed. And then if you want to give a little extra to the channel, you can join as a channel member. That'll get you emotes, badges, 
if you join at the higher tier, you can request characters for me to play um, in you know any of the games I play. You can also request games. So if you want to see me play Tekken, you can request I play some Tekken. Um, if you want to see me play this game that I don't even know if I'm going to be into, you can request that if you are a channel member. I'll also be uploading some other old content that never got uploaded, and there'll be a lot of stuff for channel members only. But without further ado, let's get into this Marvel Rivals official announcement trailer, and let's see if we get gameplay or just a concept trailer, which I think it's a concept trailer. It's only two minutes as well, so it's like... <sighs> Medi's games, I don't know anything about it. To win this one. Okay, so look, some of these characters have melee weapons. Pick your hero. And then you got look like you've got Get ready. Who Go. is that Bruce Banner? Why is Bruce Banner? Do you, okay, he does have a Hulk like ult or whatever, but he's not always the Hulk. That's interesting. Huh. Um Okay. I hope Friday got that on video. I'm opening a portal. Okay, Strange has portals. Oh yeah, we gotta see Spider-Man. Huh. Be strong together. Join together. Drown them. Who the fuck is this? I'm every way more? Your powers are mine! Loki can Shang Tsung and steal people's abilities? Iron Man has like a, a mech, obviously. In addition to his suit. Ooh. Groot and Rocket team up. Oh no, that's uh Penny Parker. So that's not an Iron Man mech. That's a completely separate character. Luna Snow, I have no idea what that is. Magic, I do know that is anymore. All right, I'm gonna be completely. Is this mad loud? Cause it's kind of loud in my ears. Oh, more characters. Closed alpha in May. I'm signing up for that, y'all. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Uh, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with y'all. I I would never lie to y'all. When I first saw the gameplay, my very first gut reaction was, this looks ass. <laughs> that was my very first honest opinion is, oh boy, this looks rough. But, I still think it's rough, but I think it has potential. I think it has potential. I definitely do. It looks, it to me, it almost looks too much like Overwatch. Like, the gameplay, not even the gameplay, because the gameplay is where it, it stands out. It's a bit unique for some of these characters. But the UI looks very Overwatch where I don't think it needs to. But, you know, I, it's, it, it knows its audience and it's trying to capture its specific audience. They are trying to appeal to the the shooters, but also like the, the hero shooters, the unconventional hero shooters, the MOBA players, because Overwatch a lot of times does play like a MOBA. It has those like support characters, those less hands-on characters, and it's about that team synergy. And I don't like MOBAs, and I s s barely like shooters. I only sometimes like shooters. So I don't feel like this game is made for me. However, I do really like superhero games, and I could see myself definitely trying this game out, giving it its fair shake, because... Um, Similar to like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I gave that game its fair shake, and I actually really like that game. I would be playing it, not right right now, but I would be playing that game today if it didn't get broken on Steam Deck yesterday. <laughs> Once they fix the compatibility, I'll hop back on and play that game. I'm playing way more of that game than I ever expected to. So it's like when the, when the gameplay is good, right, it doesn't really matter if it's your type of game. It doesn't really matter if it's made for you or not y'all gonna y'all are really gonna groan this y'all gonna i i already hear the loudest groan ever coming but also 
Marvel's Avengers was kind of like that. Guys, do me a favor. Give <laughs> you the three hit combo. Smash the like button, like, review, spear the subscribe button, like, Scorpion, kick the notification bell, like, Kazuya. Marvel's Avengers was a bit like that where I was very skeptical at first, but when I picked the game up, the gameplay was actually fun. There was a lot of things about that game that was clunky, that was weird, that was very strange, but the gameplay was fun, especially when uh, they dropped the Black Panther DLC. Is Black Panther going to carry me through another game? Is Black Panther going to be cool enough in this game to also um, appeal to me? Because, like, I feel like there's some brand recognition here. There's some characters that people love. But is Spider-Man actually going to be good in this game, right? I don't think so. I'm, it's possible he is. But they didn't show us anything that made Spider-Man good. Like, he literally showed up kind of just webbed everybody and then left i love playing melee characters in shooting games i love bringing melee weapons into places you're not supposed to so if there are really good melee characters in this then i will i'll, I'll try it out and i might even enjoy it because there is a lot of potential for melee characters magic has a sword black panther is in this spider-man is in this i don't think they're going to give everybody a gun just bruce banner <laughs> but also once he turns into hulk he has to have cool melee powers right so i am very skeptical and on the fence about it but i'm gonna give this game a shot i'm gonna try to get into the closed alpha it's closed so there's no guarantee that i'm getting into it um, but i will apply whatever we need to do sign up and yeah i'm gonna try this game now here's one thing that could make me a believer in this game overnight the price bro if this is free to play i'll see y'all there whenever this thing drops day one if this is a full priced game 60 to 70 you're gonna have to give me some time if ever if it's somewhere in between like i can see this game being 20 30 40 i think that's might be a reasonable price if this has to be priced free to play would be best but we will have to see as far as marvel rivals so i'm gonna go back to playing janet cage i'm gonna upload this video and i probably will be streaming janet cage later today so look out for all of that if you don't already have that subscribe button press that notification bell press the like button on this video press and if you have the means to do so and if you don't mind become a channel member and you guys can get access to the bonus videos the emotes the badges the gameplay if you want to play games with me and the character slash game requests but that's going to be it for this one you guys so tell me how you felt about that marvel rivals trailer i'm honestly conflicted but we shall see and yeah tell me how you guys feel and i'll see you guys in another new one peace out that are moving in the background and lynn bay fong um, we all know this is toff's daughter and she leads the new like police force that metal bends and use these whips lynn would probably be another one of my mains because she could play just like takeda and mkx we still have yet to see takeda in mk1 but that should be coming later this year so